So in the house here, they got crown molding all done in the front room here. I'm gonna take a walk back to the back of the room here so we can kind of get a better glimpse of this here. So the front room, pretty good sized room. Nice size tile there, diagonal laid. Nice door hardware, the closet up front here. There you go. All right, so let's walk back through here. I think the bedrooms are over there, so we're gonna start off over here actually. So through this room is the living room off the kitchen here. So I'm going to go this way so we can see the kitchen vaulted ceilings. It's got a high bar right there. Um, I kind of personally prefer the lower bar, but this one's not bad. It's a nice granite. They do not have an undermount sink like the other house, but they have a nice backsplash there. Electric range, microwave. I think the fridge says it stays with the property. Nice cabinets. So then back into the main room there, and there's a door right there out to the backyard. This would be considered a little pantry area. There's the living room again. There's the front room over there. I'm gonna walk over here. So, once again the kitchen, and then that leads probably to the master bedroom. That leads up to the front of the house, and the other bedrooms are down over there. So let's walk to the master bedroom. Another closet. That's nice two-tone paint to it. All right, so this is entering the master bedroom. Bolted ceilings again does have carpet. Uh, carpet probably could be cleaned. The house smells really clean. Appears to be in good condition. So there's the master here. Back up. So Good size room. There's a master bath. High vanities again. Upgraded light fixture. Roman tub and shower. Bathroom right there. And the master closet. Not a huge master closet, but it's decent size. Okay. Master bedroom. Now we're going to go to the other side where the other bedrooms are and then we'll check out the backyard real quick. So over here we have two bedrooms right there. Laundry room. And another bedroom over here. And a bathroom. Bathroom's been upgraded. They put a new vanity in. It's got a bowl sink in it. Some backsplash there. 
upgraded light fixture, bathroom, shower. Okay, so then carpet in this room, one of the bedrooms. Might be seeing a little glare right now. <clears throat> The pink room. Maybe you can put your Harley in here. Let's see here. Okay. And the other bedroom on the other side. All rooms have upgraded fans in them. Kind of neat looking fixtures right there. <clears throat> okay, that's the uh, front yard right there. All right, oh, I better go check the laundry room real quick. Laundry room. I don't think there's cabinets in this laundry room. No, it's just kind of like a little shelf there. Three car garage. Sorry. They both have garage door openers in them. Alarm. Run out back real quick. It's like a glass etched door. That's kind of interesting. Oh, there's a lock up there. Okay, so backyard. This is fenced in. I would probably remove the fence if I were you, if you ended up moving forward on this house. Um, Cause it really closes this backyard in. Uh, obviously it's for the protection of the kids. This is like a, these are pretty nice pavers they put in. They're like an upgraded, tum upgraded tumbled paver. Um, AC, side yard. I'm going to walk back here so I can turn around. Okay, so there's the patio. I think I had mentioned something that I thought the patio seemed kind of small. But, I also agree that if its fence was not in, that it would open things up quite a bit. Looks like those pots right there probably spill water into the pool. Over here, this is all rocked. They made a little sitting area with a wood burning fire pit. Pool equipment, large side yard. Low maintenance backyard. And that completes the tour of the house. I uh, will talk to you soon.